HP shares are under pressure this morning. Despite the computer and printer maker smashing analyst profit estimates last night, the company continued to experience strong demand from notebook computers while also seeing a rebound in its office printer business. Now, I talk with HP's president and CEO, Enrique Lores, about the quarter and outlook. So first of all, thank you, Brian, too, for having me here. It's always great to, to see you. As you said, we had an exceptional quarter, double-digit growth, both in top line, in, in revenue, significantly above market expectations. We also increased guide for the rest of the year. So I don't think this was a surprise. I think we just executed and did what we said we were going to do. And I'm really pleased with the progress we have made this quarter. Well, I'll tell you what surprised me. It was the commercial printing side of the business. The units up 22%. In the first quarter, when we talked, units were down 6%. So why the comeback? Well, we, we were expecting the office business overall to start recovering as people would be going back to the office and offices would be reopening. And we are starting to, to see some of it. We still think it will be stronger at the end of the year. But this is what this is what is behind this recovery you're seeing. What are you hearing from those enterprise customers? What are they buying? Are they upgrading their entire office? Are they buying new office supplies for printers? What are they doing? What they are really doing is trying to improve the experience for their employees because they want them to go back to the office. And therefore they have realized that they need to invest again in the equipment that employees will be using in the office, whether it's printers, whether it's PCs. They really have a big need to do that. And this is what we are seeing, which is also driving the acceleration of the demand that we are starting to see on the commercial side of PCs. Within the consumer side of the business, in, in the personal systems segment, you aren't hurt by the chip shortage. I mean, those sales were up 72%. We, both in consumer PCs and, commercial, and consumer printers, we are up more than 70%. And I would say that the issue that we are seeing in, in components is an industry-wide problem. And if I had to choose, I always prefer to have an issue like that, which is driven by how strong the demand for our products is. What we are demonstrating both with the strong results we had this quarter, but also with the increase on guide, is that we know how to manage this situation. During the last months, we have made a lot of changes across the company to be able to manage this situation effectively. We have increased level of inventories in a, in a few areas. We have signed long-term agreements with some key suppliers. We have redesigned our tools and processes. So we have made a lot of changes that are allowing us to manage this situation effectively. So you don't think we're up against seeing laptop shortages anytime soon? Well, we continue to see demand stronger than supply. But the fact that we were able to increase the guide for the rest of the year shows that we are confident in our ability to continue to deliver strong results for the foreseeable future. What are you hearing from, from school districts? You know, this is, we're talking to a lot of executives. This is going to be a different back to school season in large part because there was no back to school season last year. How does that impact a company like HP? Well, what we have seen during the last quarters is very strong demand from the education side for PCs. And we continue this to happen. I think even if schools reopen, they have realized that with technology, education can be more effective. And we continue to see very strong demand on the education side, and we expect it to continue. Perhaps you can break down how you were able to grow margins, operating margins in both segments. We talked to a lot of folks, and, and the costs of doing business are going through the roof. Logistics, labor, you name it. How are you able to grow margins? Well, if you think about the situation we are facing where demand is not being able to be fulfilled by, by supply, this is creating a favorable pricing environment for us. We have reduced significantly the, the amount of promotions that we need to do during the quarter. So even if we are seeing cost increases, we are able to, to compensate that. And this is what is really driving the strength on the results from a margin perspective. You know, I know you, uh, I, I know HP is really, it's focused on gaming. For investors not familiar with the HP story, do you have any exposure to crypto? We don't have any exposure to crypto. And what we are is very happy with the progress that we are making with our gaming business. It is growing even faster than, than our overall consumer business. So this tells you about the strength of that business. We also are expanding into peripherals for gaming. 
We are about to complete the acquisition of HyperX that we announced a quarter ago. So gaming is a growth story for us that we expect to continue in the future. Do you think crypto is an area of opportunity for HP? At this point, it's not one of the areas where we are focused. What we really see is that the changes in how people work, live, educate, are creating a hybrid world. And this is really the focus for the company. How do we continue to deliver products, solutions, and services that will make our customers to really be successful in this new environment? You know, we, uh, you and I have talked throughout the pandemic, and it's, it's safe to say that we are rounding the corner in the pandemic. And you've mentioned the a hybrid work model. How does that model impact an HP two, three, four, five years down the line? We, we think that the pandemic has opened tremendous opportunities for us to continue to grow. When we think about the new ways of working, of learning, of getting access to, to healthcare, they are all opportunities for us to continue to grow. If you think about how companies will have to continue to enable their employees to work from home, even if only part of the time, how kids will have to will do work or the homework using computers, using PCs, how, I, how we can connect in a secure way, printing at home with printing in the office, all of them are opportunities for us to create new products, new services. And if on top of that, you think about the changes happening in the supply chain space, where companies are looking for more flexible supply chains to produce locally, this is also opening opportunities for us in 3D printing, in industrial printing, all segments where we are starting to see growth again, that will be big drive, drivers of growth for the company in the future. That was HP CEO Enrique Lora's upbeat on the back to school shopping season and the outlook for computers. All right.